Hello, this is Sherlene, and I am here today to uh, interview Aaron Spring, and Aaron is going to talk about on passive, where it's going, and where it's been, and where it's going, and why she's involved. And we will introduce Aaron in just a moment. I'm going to uh, hang on, get your pencil and paper, and I'll be right back. <music> Okay, we're back with Erin, and I'm going to briefly introduce Erin to you, and then I'm going to let her do most of the talking. But Erin has been uh, um, experienced in network marketing and direct sales for 24 years. That's a long time, Erin. So she knows this business pretty much inside and out. She has a business with her husband, Darcy, and she has two active girls. Her background and passion are management and both in finance, floral industry, and professional hairstyling. Erin, I'm going to let you tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you said that you like volunteering and that you um, um, have done have won many awards. And I want you to tell us about those. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sherlyn, for having me on. I really appreciate it. It's such an uh, awesome opportunity to come and talk to your, uh, you know, your, your audience. And, uh, you know, I'm just the girl from Alberta, Canada, <laughs> on the western side of uh, Canada. But like you mentioned, yes, I have been in the industry for 24 years. It's always easy to remember the year that how many years I've been in because it's the year that my husband and I got married. So that, that makes it easier. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, and we have two wonderful girls. Uh, one is almost 20 and, and the other is 16. So we have one last child in um, a uh, grown young woman in uh, high school and, you know, getting through these tragic times of being in high school through these crazy times. And uh -huh. yeah, you know, the pandemic has definitely affected her and, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, you know, muscle through everything and get through everything. And thank God they have a mother that keeps extremely positive. <laughs> and, and due to that's my, you know, my background being in the industry, you know, I come from, uh, retail management background. You know, I started in hairdressing and became a professional hairstylist. And then it kind of led into florist work. And then that led into retail management of the floral floral industry and, you know, giftware and stuff. And did that for several years and enjoyed that. But that was also about the time that I actually got into team building in, in network marketing. And I was in direct sales for the, for several, several years when the kids were little, you know, getting out and, getting together with the, the moms and having night outs, and ha you know, doing the home parties and stuff like that. Right. That was, that was, you know, doing a few trade shows, but then about 2011, well, 2009, 2011 is when I got really into, you know, building teams and then getting in, 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 um, into my passion of finding traits about myself, right. And the personal development and went really went through a personal development journey and, you know, found out that we all have amazing gifts in our lives that we need to, you know, echo out to the world and you never know who you're going to inspire. And, and mm -hmm. uh, that brings to me my background of who I grew up with, with parents, especially my mother. She was a, uh, a municipal uh, politician. She started in school board for eight and a half years. Then she went into town council. She was the mayor of our town, our, our small town of 25 people it was a small little town but we did a lot of volunteering <laughs> I mm -hmm. put my jacket and my boots on multiple times did lots of huge different volunteering of organizations uh, community organizations in our small town and and I grew up watching my mother serve the community so I knew that that was in my blood uh, I just didn't know what direction it was going to go in and I think that was when it all kind of happened when I started building teams and and uh, then it just led into over the years as I'm building teams. And like you mentioned, I have uh, got a lot of different awards and mm -hmm. I've had so many different mentors in my journey and my path always stayed, um, it, you know, connected to everybody, never dis got disconnected because I believe in everybody in our industry. Um, and, and I, I'm such an advocate for our industry. Uh, it, it's an opportunity for so many people that 
are struggling and not really knowing what they're supposed to do in life. And unfortunately, we're, we're all grown to, you know, get a, a get out of college or high school and go to college and university. Well, not everybody is meant for college and university. There's there's a great a great opportunity of entrepreneurship right out there. So that being said, I, you know, earned a lot of um, I mean, heck, my father-in-law passed away seven years ago in a period of I think it was six weeks I hit like five pin ranks and I was doing three-way calls like literally on the hospital bed right like on the chair right beside him and 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 just stayed stayed driven no matter what what's happening in our lives right mm -hmm. and then um about six years ago I joined a company a, a pro the last project I was involved with um and I really dug into the next level of leadership and that was due to being part of some incredible mentors uh and really getting into the depth of personal development once i got that level of personal development it took me to the next level of leadership and i got a rising star award i've earned trips i've earned the cars the the bonuses i've uh traveled a few different places on the trips and and uh, got elite le leadership awards but it's not about me it's about the community right and about three years well i guess we're in 2021 now but in 2017 and i knew i knew something was going to change in my journey that i was going to create a community because i understood that i understood from my experience how i felt i was belonging to something i was giving i was doing my purpose in my life right um, we all have a purpose, no, no matter what, even if people don't think that they have a purpose there, you have a gift, you have a story, you, you, mm -hmm. you're here for a reason. And uh, that was when I founded uh, Team Hope. And it has just been worldwide. Like it is incredible that I can serve to others and give them hope in crazy times that we're living in. I mean, this this is historical times where that we're living in. We never thought, I never thought in my in my lifetime that we'd be living with historical times, but it's okay because when you're connected to a community, a tribe, whatever you want to call it, it's incredible what can come along with, right? And mm -hmm. and, and that's what it's all about. So yeah, it's it's in it's very enjoyable and I get up every day and I say, who am I gonna touch today right like who am i going to impact and it's not about me it's about them right because I, right. trust me 10 years ago you would not see me on stages you would not see me organizing massive co conferences and conventions and i live um just so you understand and your your audience understands i live two hours away from edmonton alberta so i don't even live in a major center a major city yeah. and i was pre-organizing setting up massive conferences conferences with keynote speakers all the volunteers setting everything up and everything and uh but that's what i love because that's what i grew up with right so it's in a different aspect so hopefully that answers your quite question a whole bunch of the different that's, questions that's awesome you've got a really strong background and you definitely have the ability to help a lot of people and you do i know one of the current things that you're in is something called on passive can you tell us about what on passive is, maybe what their mission is, their goals, why you got into it, where it's going, and maybe just an update on it? Absolutely. So the, your second question is saying you asked me why I got into on passive. And that kind of leads from my journey uh, through my leadership, uh, being a leader in Team Hope, into my team in, in Team Hope community, um, is I understood that not everybody is a people's person, right? Yet they have traits that they just don't know. But I come from, remember, I come from hairdressing. I come from florist. What is that? That's people. That's a people industry. You're sitting people in your chair, cutting their hair. You're talking to them. They're get, you're getting to know who they are, get to know what their next holiday is or what project they're working on, et cetera. Same thing as florist. You get to know when they're getting married or who's passed away or you know, or whose birthday anniversary, exactly. You're getting to know people. So I knew it came to me very easily for me to build teams worldwide. And I have had teams all around the world up to 60 different countries. But I will tell you is not everybody's quite there yet. So I'm, I was always looking for tools, certain tools to help people, especially in 
the era of the 20, the decades of the 2020, right? We are in the technology era, era compared to 10 years ago when I started building teams or 12 years ago when I started building teams. So I understood that I was specifically looking for something that it was all underneath one umbrella. And I was blessed that I had a very close friend, uh, uh, do, which was a business partner of mine as well, literally contacted me and said, and this is like through cra craziness this past summer in 2020, when everybody was still trying to figure out what the heck's going on in the world, right? Let's just be real. <laughs> but I knew that a friend had the heart to call me up or send me a message on WhatsApp and said, hey, I need to have a conversation with you. You need to look at this. When I seen that short two minute video of the digital marketing tools of on passive, I could not believe my eyes. I was like, this is exactly what I'm looking for, for my people in my community, because not everybody is an Aaron because we're all individually. We all have different traits and strengths and gifts to give to the world, but this would help them. Right. Because yeah, I can, as a leader, I can train them and, and, and stuff like that, but it's all up to the individual if they choose to actually do what I did, right? Whereas if I can give them a tool and it's a lot more easier, I could not believe my eyes. So when I found out about on passive and the opportunity of becoming a founder of the company, of an AI company, now remember, yes, I come from direct sales and network marketing industry. But once I realized and understood this, the history of this company, it's not registered as an MLM company. And I was already currently with another opportunity to actually at the period of time, because that's any successful person has multiple income streams, hands down, don't ever, I mean, it's up to you to listen or not, because I've been down that road, not just you, but to your audience that I was told several years ago, you only got to do one to be successful. Well, yeah, but once you start understanding and getting to know individual successful people, they have multiple income streams that let's just be clear. Right. So when I, when I found that I had, I could, I could use these incredible tools to help anybody, whether they're a brick and mortar business, whether they're a franchise or a corporation, a, a, you know, a nonprofit organization, charities, um, entrepreneur, even these self-employed entrepreneurs that maybe had a hobby, a crafting hobby. And now because they've been un unemployed from uh, the world economic downturn in, in the pandemic that we're living in, they can now turn this into a, a, a opportunity of income, right? They can turn it into a small business. So once I understood the opportunity of on passive to come in as a founder and for individuals to use these tools that is non-competitive to whatever you're currently using. I mean, heck, we have CEOs and network marketing companies have come into our company as a founder because they see the opportunity. So I was just over the moon. I literally, um, I was working a full-time job, unfortunately, because my husband was unemployed and it was easier for me, even though I had a residual income coming from my other projects, I, it was easier for me to go to work because he worked in oil and gas and we know what has happened. I mean, it's history now. Right. So I, I had to do what I had to do. Right. So I did it and I was just so excited to really, you know, roll up my sleeves and start being the message of the message, you know, be the messenger mm -hmm. of the message. And, uh, just share it and it's been the most easiest thing to share like honestly i have i have individuals have come on board as a founder that's never sponsored anybody enrolled anybody in their other projects and they're blowing out of the water because they understand what it is and and mm -hmm. what happens with on passive as a founder it gets within ourselves and you cannot talk to people without like even going out for coffee or going to, you know, the grocery store, the local grocery store. You're talking to people because you know what you have in your hands to help their current projects that they're working on. And that's what I love right. about it. So, right. It sounds like a great opportunity. Uh, so what is a founder? How does the founder positions work in on passive? You said something about a founder. Yeah, so a founder is, and I've been part of other projects where I was a founder of other opportunities as well. Um, founders, but with on passive, 
it's a, a it's an IT company with artificial intelligence attached to all the products. They have they have over five or fifty products. They have about a dozen standalone products that could be standalone businesses on their own, but it's all underneath one umbrella. And what happens is um, to explain is it it's easier to un understand that a lot of people know uh, like there's a current um, up here in Canada, there, there's a current grocery store that you can be a member uh, to it and you get a dividend, right? That's what a founder position is. So this company is a private company, although the on passive IT company has not publicly launched to the world. So you can't go on to on, on. Well, you can go online. You can see a website and everything's set up. It's all legit and everything. It's all registered. But the thing of it is, is it's not people can't use the products. Right. We're literally at the very beginning of the soft launch. And what the purpose of the soft launch is is when the company is testing all the products with the AI to make sure everything's co coherent and everything's working correctly because we have a massive uh, office in Hyderabad, uh, India, uh, tech city. It's actually one of the biggest tech cities of the world. And there's just under a thousand, I think just around 800 employees now um, working out of that office. And that's where all the magic happens. There's the, that's the IT people, the programmers of all the pro like of the whole company. And that's where everything is. Um, so the thing of it is, is, um, you, you get the opportunity to tap into the revenue, the profits of the company. So the company, when it goes public to the world, meaning it's not going to be a public owned company, it's going to be a private owned company. It will never go public. So a public company is when people can go buy shares on the stock market, right? Here, you, you can't. You have to be a founder to be able to be part of that. So right. some people will come in and they'll just be a founder. They will not share the message. They just want to be a founder and step into the founder position. And that is fine. Then there's others that will go out and really share the message. So it's up to you as an individual. Yeah. And yeah. founders will have benefits whether they share or not. Um, yeah. To some extent. Yes. So, yeah, absolutely. so basically um, if someone wanted to find out more information, how would they do that? So to find out more information is actually you can contact Charlene directly um, because, of course, that, that's why we met, right? So uh, you can contact her and she can get you the information, the link, and, and look at it and, and get more in-depth information. Trust me, I, I'm an analytical person. I'm very, very analytical, and I think that's because the person who I grew up from, my mother. <laughs> so I, I took it some time to look at it, but it only took me two hours to understand how huge this opportunity right. is. Right. This is part of the solution of the world right now, guys, for the your audience. And understand that. It's a very it's special huge. time of this world. And right. uh, to understand that he is already Mr. Ash Mafar. He's the he's the CEO and the founder of the company. He's got a massive regulatory team across the world, a legal team that is making sure we have zero corruption uh, and it's all going to be safe and everything. And that's that's why it's it's taking a little more time due to some of the world events. But that's OK, because it's going to be safe to launch to the world for the public to use the products when it's supposed yeah. to launch. So, which is just yeah. literally yeah. round corner now. Yeah. The CEO Ash, you talked about the company tech being in tech being in India, but he's actually in Florida and has an office there too. So yes. it really yeah. is in the United States. But yeah. It's, it, it's an American company. Florida. Yeah. It's an American company, but the, the, his background, he's from India originally. Like he was, born, he was born there and then he came, they right. came over young kid and he has a harvard university of e-commerce and business and he's he's a visionary he's he's right. very very unique individual and um and the more you get to know him when you when you join as a founder you actually become part of the inner circle and we have private weekly meetings and they're not the typical one hour meetings they're like a board meeting but virtual <laughs> because we can't all yeah. be together right now we know that circumstance and, uh, you know, they're three to five hour long meetings, but they're very intense meetings, good, good tense meetings of knowing what's happening behind the scenes. So absolutely. Right. And then, too, uh, 
gone past even, especially the CEO Ash has a heart for helping people out of poverty and helping people just live better lives. Can you talk just a little bit about that? Absolutely. So that was, he comes from networking industry, the network marketing industry. Uh, I don't think he ever did direct sales, but he did network marketing and new cryptocurrency and stuff like that. So just so your audience knows that, that he does come from that background as well. But he also knew that 97% of the people in that industry does not make more than $500 a month, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And there's, or less, <laughs> exactly, or less. And he got tired of him being on the stage, making the millions of dollars, you know, the, the big dollars. He wanted that. And that's why he took the opportunity to attach the founder position to the opportunity to on passive prior to the company launches. So when the company launches publicly in the, in the hard launch, public launch, however you want to say the words, some people say hard, some people say public, I will tell you that there will be no more founder positions. So you want to jump in right now. You want to lock your position as a founder. It's, it's a very small amount. Yeah. It's not thousands of dollars, just so you know. Uh, but he, what he's, he's done is once we become full in our, like our, fill our cup and we're taking being taken care of our our personal family and our needs and our, our wants and stuff you know we can give back and one of the products is called o bless and o plus o bless is incredible product where we can go and put up our charity or our mission or whatever we we want up into the o bless product mm -hmm. section and uh there's well 500 uh, 535,000 founders right now can go and donate. It's kind of like right. GoMeFund, but it's much more, way more better, the features yeah. of it. But that's what he's all about is changing the world. It's all about AI with heart. And it's all about the humanity. And we're already changing the world. I mean, we're already open in 212 countries and we're at 535,000 founders around the world and we haven't even launched to the world we're we're, right. we're massively changing i mean when you become a founder and you're on these inner circle webinars uh multiple times during the week um you can be on these different webinars from different countries and you listen to people's stories and what's happened in their life it's dramatically changed the, the humanitarian right. uh movement has has happened already right and that you that's know, what he believes in yeah one of the things that has launched lately has been the O Academy. Can you talk just a little bit about that? I thought that was very interesting, not only as an opportunity for people to share what they know, but for people to learn. Can you talk just a little bit about that? Absolutely. So we are going through a phase right now where it's basically called alpha testing. So we're just like right around the corner of soft launch testing. And, um, Alpha testing is when he's going to be announcing all the different products. And one of the first, the first product that's been announced and very detailed with all the product managers, the IT department out of Hyderabad City, we got to meet them around, around the table and them explaining everything is o o Academy. So it's not O Academy, it's O Academy. And O Academy is online uh, learning system, basically a, a portal where professors, teachers, art teachers, piano teachers, mechanic yeah. teachers, exact anybody, entrepreneurs, anybody can go on there and specifically look at to be either a customer of a program, right? Because there's going to be a, a good portion, like a good chunk of pre um, um, programs available, like, you know, you can get a certificate and stuff like that. Or you can get professors from universities, colleges and stuff come on there and they're going to have all the proper tools to teach their students. Uh, it could be it, it could be anything, a teacher, a lawyer or whatever. Right. Whatever the professor is. Um, and, you know, they could be have their day job. They could be a teacher in a K to 12 school and then they come home and they're going to do their teaching online because we know we've seen it already with um the pandemic how many schools around the world in the different countries have been shut down right mm -hmm. and all our kids are learning online unfortunately because there's no products out there that really 
helps the teachers or professors of that level having all the pro the, all the different tools that they need to properly teach they're struggling so this is a massive solution to the world and we already know certain other countries around the world not in the united states or canada we're actually behind the the, the eight ball basically but india china europe they're already doing e-learning on a massive scale so it's it this is the new the new normal, I guess you could say, right? right. Uh, we already right. see see so many people working from home, right? Mm -hmm. They now, now they realize they don't have to have an office in a big building, and mm -hmm. that employer having you know the 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 overhead. Now they can send them home, and they can do all their work from home, right? So right. Right. we're in well, a massive awesome transition right now. Yeah, I think it'll be a great opportunity for trainers, entrepreneurs to share they can put up their videos and share their messages and apparently what i've heard is um that your video your message when you're speaking whatever on on this site can be translated into other languages so you don't yeah, have 15, to speak Italian to, to hear it exactly so you've got a global audience and you can charge exactly. for those or you can do some free ones to attract people They'll use artificial intelligence to to attract people to you. It's a it's a really neat thing, really neat thing. Yeah, and when we got introduced to this, when they drop when Ash dropped this first product out to us, we just found out just this past week that um, this was only phase one. There's two more right. phases of o o Academy, so right. it's very exciting because we were all blown away by the first phase. We say, "What the heck? What else does he have up his sleeve?" Right? <laughs> but again, that's the bonus of being a founder, being behind the scenes, and learning about yes, all this no before before it goes to millions and billions of people around the world. Because there's like I five totally billion people using the internet around the world. Yeah. Yeah, and I think uh, Mike this morning, you know, I watched a video. He mentioned something about one of the products being O staff, which is maybe, or he thinks it's an HR product, and that's going to be really big too. Yeah. So, yeah, O staff is for all the the HR products for HR products products for the HR staffs across the world in different corporations and different businesses. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be awesome. Well, Aaron. I really appreciate you coming on. I appreciate your time. I know the audience is loving what you're saying. And um, just keep us updated and let us know what's going on. Absolutely. I really appreciate for me or for yourself inviting me on. Uh, and it's so much fun. And I love your show. And, uh, and uh, yeah, absolutely. Hey, all I say is education is free. Find out more information from her from this amazing woman here and uh, individual around the you know she's she's here for a purpose in life too and and uh, it's it's been a journey that's all I can say it's been a fun journey. Well, we appreciate it and we'll let you go and um, you have a blessed day. You too. You. Talk to you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.